Hey everybody, it's Lo, and welcome back to my channel, Lo Without Limits. In this video, I'm gonna share with you some more new eco-friendly products, so if you wanna see that, then just keep watching. This video is going to be the fourth eco-friendly products video that I have here on my channel. I will have the other three linked down below, and this one's a bit closer to the last one that I posted, and it's because I have so many new products that I cannot wait to share with you, and a few for the bathroom as well, which some of you may know is somewhere where I've really been trying to be more eco-friendly. It's super easy to do in other parts of the house. The kitchen's super easy to do. The bathroom is somewhere where I've been putting a lot more attention to find new eco-friendly things and to reduce my plastic and my waste there. So let's actually just start off with the bathroom. And the first thing I'm super excited to share are these facial rounds. You can get them a bunch of places. I went to this store in Manhattan Beach called The Waste Less Shop. So these are their brands and this bag that I got comes with the bag and it comes with 10 of the white ones and I believe these are from Bamboo. They're a bit fluffier and then there's 10 of these black ones which are cotton. So they're a bit stretchier, a bit thinner. So for these ones are really great to take off makeup. These ones I like using for more just like applying a serum. That way it doesn't get absorbed into the cloth so absolutely love these and what i'm doing is i have an old candle jar so i have all the clean ones in the candle jar i'm using it and then when they're all dirty i put them in this bag get it all nice and tight and you can just throw this in the washing machine so it's super easy and these are to replace cotton rounds or cotton balls which a lot of them just require so much more water and end up so wasted like so many cotton balls end up in the garbage can and a lot of them aren't coming from our certified organic cotton in, which does mean that it's harvested better so a lot of them just are gross bleached meh so I got these and they also have them just in like little groups of 10 but I like that these had 10 of the black ones 10 of the white ones and this little pouch and I believe for all this together it was $30 so I'll link this from the Waste Less store down below as well as some other options if you want to shop around. Something else that I've been using in the bathroom to cut down on plastic and waste is NYX mouthwash. So as of right now, this is a plastic container, but they're actually rebranding and redoing all of the packaging. So when you do order it yourself, you will get a glass container and it's a natural alcohol-free mouthwash. So when you do your first order, you get the container. Again, it will be glass in the near future and you get a little vial of the mouthwash crystals. So what you'll do is you'll put the crystals in here with some water, shake it up and they'll dissolve. So then in here you have your mouthwash and it lasts about a month for each of these and you just get your refills as often as you need them and you can just keep reusing this part. And this is also glass so you can easily recycle it and it has a sustainable cork top. So this is easy to recycle and then this you just reuse every single time and again they are doing the packaging again. The ingredients for it are also really good in comparison to just mouthwashes that you can get at the drugstore or Target or wherever. So it's water, obviously, erythritol, vitamin E, aloe vera, sea salt, grapefruit seed extract, menthol, polysorbate 20 which is derived from coconut, baking soda, stevia leaf extract, and peppermint oil. So all of it is really, really natural, again, alcohol free, and it's just really good for your mouth and really good for the planet. And lastly for the bathroom, when I started to run low on my just regular old crust toothpaste, I was starting to look for different eco-friendly alternatives. And what kept coming up was David's. So David's is naturally sourced and naturally derived ingredients. It's in a recyclable metal tube, which the other ones are usually plastic and then like coated with metal. You can't really recycle them, but this one is all metal and it's so sturdy as well. So it's a recyclable metal tube, which is super sustainable and eco-friendly. It's fluoride free, which is really good and you shouldn't be getting as much fluoride as we are given anyway. It has no sodium lauryl sulfate, which are those SLSs that everybody talks about and says you need to cut out of your cleaning products and your body products and your beauty products. And it's also sulfate free. So because it is sulfate free, it doesn't get as foamy or bubbly in the mouth as other ones like Crest, Colgate, all those bigger toothpaste brands do, which to me at first was really weird because I expected the suds, but that's literally just there so you can have the idea of like, oh, it's sudsing so my teeth are getting clean. The suds actually has nothing to do with the cleanliness of your mouth and how well you're brushing. So that was a little bit of getting used, that definitely took a little bit of getting used to, but it's in the end, fantastic for me and for my body. 98% of the ingredients originate in the US and it is 
proudly made in America, which is fantastic. And again, this is just the peppermint one. I believe there's another one, it's like a pink, it might be like a grapefruit one. And then there's a block tube, which is like charcoal peppermint, which I would also be very interested to try out but I'm really enjoying it so far. And it's also not overly pepperminty. And then it also comes with this little tube thing here. So for a lot of people, some people, this has always been a random pet peeve of mine, but people that squeeze the toothpaste bottle from the middle, what is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? I've always been a top down squeezer. That's how you do it. You get from the top, you go down. Some people just squeeze from the middle as if that's a normal thing, as if they're not maybe a little cuckoo. It's weird. And then they say, well, you squeeze from the middle and then eventually when the middle's, you just start pushing it down. I'm like, but you can just push down from the top to start with. Anyway, I digress. But when you buy a David's toothpaste, it also comes with this little metal piece here. So you can roll it down and push everything down and really make sure that you are getting everything out of it. In my last video, I also talked about Branch Basics, which is a cleaning solution that I've been using, and it's great for all surfaces, for the bathroom, for mirrors, and I actually really, really love it for my mirrors as well. After that, I was sent this, and it is Force of Nature, and it is a cleaner that is also super eco-friendly because you reuse the bottle. And what this does is you get this little device here, which is a countertop electrolyzer and just zaps the salt, vinegar, and water to do some kitchen chemistry and make a cleaner. You can just keep it under the sink when you're not using it. And what it does is you fill it up with water until the fill line, and you add in these little pre-measured out capsules of salt and vinegar, and the combination of that and this electrolyzer makes hypochlorous acid and sodium hydroxide, which are great and effective cleaners. You add in one at a time, so one for each use. And this is the only thing that you'll be getting more of and having to fill up and replace. You turn it on and it does this little bubble light situation thing. And it's really cool. And once that's all done after it does its thing, then you put it into your reusable bottle. I do like this because it's also a bit stronger. So especially for the high touch areas, doorknobs, when I walk in, I put my keys down and like around the bathroom and everything, I prefer this one over the Branch Basics. Again, absolutely love the Branch Basics. The all-purpose cleaner is great. But if I need something really, really clean, especially right now, then I will go through all the high touch areas and a lot of the different surfaces with this one. You do have to use each bottle that you make within two weeks though or else science and time will make the hypochlorous acid ineffective but if you have a bigger place than I do I'm sure that is super easy to do and again these two parts are reusable so again the spray bottle and the little thing and it has a little outlet for the plug that it comes with so you just plug it into the wall when you need to and then all you would need to get to replace is this also when it comes to cleaning and doing things in the kitchen, I've had my eye on Swedish dish, dish cloths, Swedish dish cloths, Swedish dish cloths for quite a while now. And I was actually at a little Scandinavian store in Abbot Kinney and saw them there for pretty inexpensive. So I picked up two. So this one, I really like the print. I haven't used it yet though, because I just want to like use this one as much as I can before going into this one, but it's my backup one. And this is the one I've been using. And these are amazing. They're a lot thicker and like denser than I thought just from looking at them online. So definitely not what I expected, but when they get wet, they will absorb absolutely anything. And they'll dry so dry and small too. So where I like using these is after I wash things or get things out of the dishwasher, I'll go through this and it just absorbs all that excess water before I put my dishes away. Also for cleaning up, if I just splash along the counter at all, I'll do this. And it just, it seems interesting at first because it's so dry, you don't think it's getting it, but it absorbs so much. You can also use it for cleaning your dishes if you want to. I just use my little bamboo scrub brush for that, but that is an option. Again, I just like drying all my dishes and drying off the countertop when I need to with this. And you can also throw it in the washing machine if it gets super dirty, like mine's getting a little dingy and I'm doing laundry later today. So I'm probably gonna add this to my laundry basket after this video. And the construction of it is 70% cellulose and 30% cotton, which are earth friendly and durable. So again, you can throw it in your washing machine when you wanna clean it up like how this one is. And they are so absorbent and durable and just fantastic. So. If you come across them, again, I found them at a little Scandinavian store in Abbot Kinney, but I'll have some links down below of some different Swedish dish cloths. Swedish dish, 
Swedish dish cloths if you want to try them out for yourself. Something that I've been super eager to start doing and I'm excited to finally get started is composting. So I've been like talking about it amongst myself for a while now, but when I was at the Waste Lust store in Manhattan Beach, I saw these compostable food waste bags. So the bags will also fully disintegrate when in the compost bin and they are 100% biodegradable, vegan and cruelty free, leak proof, suitable for home compost, and it's 100 bags for this roll. So I'm super excited to do it. And what I'm doing, I started today because I got them a couple days ago, but I've just been eating like meal prep meals, but I made eggs today. So I put my eggshells in here and what I'm going to do is just fill it up, but I'm also gonna keep this bag in my freezer. That way it doesn't smell and nothing starts stinking. And once it gets full, I'm going to drop it off at a compost place. So if you're in LA, there are a few different compost places, but a lot of them are full or a lot of them aren't taking things because of the lockdown and everything, just some of them aren't running. So it is hard to find a place right now that is accepting compost. So I'm gonna do a bit more research. I know that there are certain families that, um, there's a certain website where you can kind of search your location and see who pops up, like people doing it in their backyard and you just drop off your compost to them. So I think that might be the direction I take for now until things start to open up and these other compost hubs start to open up as well but I'm just going to keep it in my freezer so it doesn't smell. And again, the bag is 100% biodegradable, so you can just give them the whole bag once it's full. For composting, don't do like dairy or meats or anything like that. So it's mostly just like vegetables, eggshells, different things like that. And I'm just so excited to finally get started. This has been something that I've been wanting to do for so long and I kept saying, I'll start when Austin and I move in together. I'll start when Austin and I move in together. But when I saw these bags, I thought, oh, I can start here and just keep it in my freezer instead of buying the little tin or having the compost pick up because to me, I was like, oh, it's not like worth it when I'm only here half the time. So this, I just feel like is a great alternative, something that I can just do on my own and even when we do move in together. And I'm so excited to finally start composting. And now, although it is a new year, it doesn't seem like masks are going anywhere anytime soon. So I'm super excited that Stogo sent me a bunch of masks and some to even share with you. And they are made from Reprieve, which is made from recycled plastic water bottles. So all of this is recycled materials. Even the bags that they sent it in are for fully recycled, come from post-consumer waste. So I think it's amazing. If you're gonna be buying a mask, buy one that's made from water bottles, that's taking trash and making it into something useful. And definitely don't buy the disposable ones. Like just have a bunch of masks to go and then you do your laundry and you wash all the masks that you wore this week. So they have two, this is the Wave one, and it's called the Wave because it's one of those ones with the little perforations or folds, that way it can expand over your mouth and your chin. And it also does have a little nose bridge piece that's the metal, so you can really form it to your face. And they have these little beads here on the side so you can adjust it to your ears. And they also come in two sizes, one for like a smaller size, and then some bigger ones, which are quite large, but I'm going to give to Austin. I believe this is, might be a big one. No, this is still the small one. So for the wave, they have this black and then this really pretty blue. It's almost like silky, but it's from recycled water bottles, which is better. They also have the not wave ones. I don't remember what these are called exactly, but again, just black. And this is just the one that goes under your chin, has that little seam there, has the piece for your nose, and then it has a thicker metal piece underneath. That way you can bend it and shape it to your nose. So this is the small one in black. And then there's also, this is the large size. So if you have a bigger face, you're a guy, as you can see, it's quite big on me to where it's like a lot of gas. So for those ones, they have them in black and gray. I personally like a lot of the masks that I've been getting are black, which I think is great. And then also you can get from them this little travel pouch so you can keep a bunch of masks in there so you can switch them up or if they get dirty, you can just put them off in this before you go and wash them. Whatever you decide to do, it's always just good to have your mask or if you have some masks in your purse but you don't want them to get dirty or messed up with just all the other things in your purse or you don't want any of the cooties on your mask to get all over your stuff in your purse, you can throw them in this, which is great. And again, made from the Reprieve material. 
and then they also have gloves, which is fantastic. So these are super lightweight, again, the same recycled material. And this is the, their medium size. So it fits my hands like a small medium. So they're super comfy and they also on both sides, on the pointer finger and on the thumb, have that part where you can touch your phone. So with some gloves you can't use them with your phone. With these ones they have those little finger parts. So these I'm super, super excited to wear when I go to the grocery store. I have been doing like Whole Foods, Amazon Prime delivery, but when I do go shopping and everything, I'm gonna wear these because then I can just like touch things without feeling like my hands are getting super gross. And then once I get in my car, take them off, put them in my little pouch. That way I don't touch them again and they're good, and then I just gotta wash them. I'm also super excited to say that Stogo has given me these extra ones. That way I can do a giveaway, which is my first giveaway, so I'm super, super excited. So what I have to give away is a set of the blue wave ones in the larger size and the smaller size, the black regular ones in the larger size and the smaller size, and these small gloves. So again, all recyclable material and one person will win all of these things. Today is February 3rd when I'm posting this, so I'm gonna give you guys two weeks until February 17th, that Wednesday, to enter to win all of these, a little mask and glove set. So to enter this giveaway, you just need to do four things. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, which you are watching right now, Low Without Limits. Also give this video a thumbs up, Comment down below the best way to contact you, whether that's your Instagram handle, an email, whatever it may be. And then follow me on Instagram, which is also low without limits. And I will be checking. And again, on the 17th, I will pick one winner who did all of those things. So if you wanna win, be sure to enter. And the last reusable product that I want to share with you is Keep Cup. I know I shared my Keep Cup in my last video, but I'm also super excited to announce that Rain, my small reusable products business, is now partnered with Keep Cup to bring them to you. So Rain's offering two Keep Cups right now, and there is a limited quantity also, so be sure to get your orders in at rainreusables.com. And right now, Rain just has the 12 ounce medium size Keep Cup with the cork band. So there's two colors. This one's the neutral with the tan top and the gray plug. And this one is the two-tone blue. So it has this darker blue here and a slightly lighter one as the plug. Again, both of them are the 12 ounce cork keep cups. And I love the cork ones because cork is so sustainable. It grows on the cork trees in Portugal and Spain and also just it takes, sucks up so much carbon dioxide from the atmosphere when growing the cork bark that will be used for different cork products. So again, absolutely love it. Love the glass. It gives it a really good taste for whatever you put in here. Right now I'm using it for matcha, but great for coffee. And it's also just the perfect size if you are making your own coffee. I know everybody always thinks like coffee, bigger, better whatever but for good coffee and to actually like make good coffee a 12 ounce size is perfect so again these are available at rainreusables.com a limited quantity but i will probably be ordering more for rain so let me know if you guys like these colors if there are other colors that you like if it said rain on the side what would you think about that so let me know, give your feedback, let me know what sizes you like, if you like the cork, just a bunch of different things. I love feedback for knowing what to do with Rain and what direction Rain should take in terms of new products. Available online, free shipping as always, and get some straws while you're at it. Well, there you have it. Those are my new favorite eco-friendly products. If you like this video, be sure to give a thumbs up. Comment down below what your favorite eco-friendly products are and what you want to see more of on my channel. And while you're there, be sure to subscribe. I upload a new video every Wednesday. So until the next one, thanks for watching.